Edwards a draft to pivot for it. And how about Butler? And now Butler and Edwards get mixed up. Why is Jimmy Butler so angry at Anthony Edwards on this play? Well, to answer that question, we first have to ask, what is the number one thing you look for in a young NBA superstar to be? Is it freak athleticism, a shot like Curry, eyes in the back of his head, the basketball IQ of a seasoned vet? Well, you'd probably want all of the above, but what is the most rare trait of a young NBA superstar? What is the trait that sets apart a true contender to the throne while the pretenders fall by the wayside. We know things like work ethic and dedication to the craft are proven to work. However, what is the final step to undiscovered greatness? Is it the ability to score in the clutch? Michael Jordan's career was full of clutch moments that defined him. But when it comes to the numbers, Mike took 157 field goal attempts in games that were within five points with three or less minutes to go. The time where Mike lived to play only, he shot 157 seven shots and connected on just 43% of them. Almost exactly the same as Alex Caruso's career field goal percentage. We never hear Mike was Caruso in the clutch. There must be something more. So is it the ability to lead? a group of grown men as a young 20-something year old. When LeBron James joined the Cleveland Cavaliers after the 2003 draft, his team would miss out on the playoffs due in large part to the fact that his teammates hated him. LeBron came in as the chosen one and their coach would say his teammates' egos wouldn't allow it. In LeBron's old coach's own words, I kept telling them, you have a chance to help one of the game's future stars, but they wouldn't embrace him. If it bothered LeBron, he never let on. And he really didn't. In just his fourth season, Bron would carry the Cavs to the NBA Finals in a series where he accounted for both 29% of his team's scoring and 51% of their assists. That is on top of giving us an all-time signature performance when he scored 25, oh wait, sorry, the last 25 points of Game 5 of the Eastern Conference Finals for the Cavaliers, including several clutch blow-by dunks. LeBron was both clutch and a leader, and top-tier leadership is a part of greatness, but we have seen some of the NBA's most quiet guys such as Tim Duncan and Steph Curry lead by example and get the same results out of their teammates. So if it's not exactly clutch, if it's not exactly leadership, what is the one thing that truly sets a young star apart? And what made Jimmy Butler so mad? Well, the answer to Jimmy Butler is that Anthony Edwards has been trash talking him for a very long time. Which brings us to what is the rarest trait of them all and why is it Anthony Edwards? who has it. But before we continue, I am very excited to thank DraftKings for sponsoring today's video because if you did not know, it's college football season, which means again, DraftKings is going to hook us up. And right now, new customers will receive $200 in bonus bets instantly after betting just $5 on any wager. And if you're wondering what you could use those bonus bets on, you can try parlaying multiple games together all in one bet so that you have a chance at bigger winnings. And if mobile sports betting is not yet in your state, do not worry. You can still get in the fun with DraftKings Daily Fantasy, where they offer cash prizes for nearly every sport. All you have to do is download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and use my promo code CORZEMBA. New customers who use my promo code CORZEMBA and bet $5 on any wager get $200 in bonus bets instantly. That is promo code CORZEMBA, only at DraftKings Sportsbook. And thank you again to DraftKings for sponsoring today's video. Guys, I personally use DraftKings. I was using DraftKings before any sort of partnership. They're the best. Go download the DraftKings Sportsbook app. And now let's get back into today's video. So what's up guys, Mike here, and today we are taking a look at the future greatness of Anthony Edwards, and when looking throughout all of NBA history, one thing is extremely clear. We have seen the beginning of true greatness come in the form of incredible play on Team USA, playing on Team USA this summer. Anthony Edwards has been so incredible that Steve Kerr said he's unquestionably the guy. You can see he knows it, but now the team knows it. I think he's taking a leap. Did you just hear the evidence of what we need to see? The most rare trait in all of basketball. It is one of the most rare traits in all of life. Fully 
believing you are going to do something. Not can, not could, not maybe. Fully believing you are going to do something before you actually do it. Breaking down Kerr's quote, you can see he knows it. Ant believed in himself first, back to Kerr, but now the team knows it. Ant had that belief in himself and then he proved it. Because to cap off a run on Team USA where he looked every part of the NBA superstar, let's watch as with three minutes to go in the third quarter, Team USA is down by 13 points. Edwards measuring, firing. Team USA would come back and to close this game, Anthony Edwards was unstoppable. This is Edwards over Tice and a big shot. And a give ground. Edwards for the top. Oh, yes. That's his favorite. Edwards. He's good. Anthony Edwards, at the age of 22, yet again showed us his unshakable confidence on a global stage. And what might be the most wild thing here is, we really should not be surprised. We are going to get into how great Anthony Edwards has been, but just looking at last year's playoffs, after the Nuggets won the championship this season, Bruce Brown would call Minnesota the toughest team they played and said that Anthony Edwards was the toughest player to guard. And was going OD though. Ant, Ant was is, losing his next up. No, Ant is a problem. Ant is OD. The toughest player cigar was Ant and Shea. Jesus Christ. Ant was cooking. Cooking. Every, doing everything, though. All three levels. This has been years in the making. In terms of stats in his first three seasons, Ant has become one of just 16 players in league history to average at least 21 points per game between the ages of 19 and 21. Which is nice, but diving deeper. In terms of just 21 year olds in the league, we see that Ant's 24 points per game, five rebounds per game, and four assists per game were matched or bettered by only Michael Jordan, Tracy McGrady, LeBron James, and Luka Doncic. Not a bad list to be on at all as a 21 year old, but also upping the stats takes even more. Ant continues to shine because again, Anthony Edwards is the type of player who is proving right in front of our faces that he is capable of achieving tremendous success without needing the evidence of success to believe in himself. One of the biggest things you need to see from your star if you want to win is for him to step up in the playoffs. We know this. When we compare Ant's 2022 and 2023 regular season stats to his playoff numbers, we see the difference is massive. In the playoffs, the last two seasons, which includes Ant's second year, they were unquestionably Anthony Edwards' team on the offensive end. Only six NBA players ever have averaged over 30 points per game at the age of 21 in the playoffs. Again, he's been doing this. Only two players have ever averaged at least 25 points per game at the age of 20, and those two would be Luka Doncic and a second year Anthony Edwards, who also led the Wolves in scoring that playoffs. Without a shadow of a doubt, Anthony Edwards is, to me at least, a young superstar who cannot be overlooked anymore. Some NBA scouts are seriously now considering him a top five to six player in the league, which is a massive leap. We will see if Ant is able to live up to those expectations, but there is a problem and it is a big one. You cannot win in the NBA alone. Even Michael Jordan needed Scottie Pippen. And right now, Anthony Edwards has Carl Anthony Towns. And I would ask you, do you yourself believe in Carl Anthony Towns enough to bet the future of Anthony Edwards? Edwards on him. I am not being dramatic. I am just being realistic. Carl Anthony Towns is not about to take the back seat. He thinks he is the best player on this team. It's always about the vets you have. And I've always said I wanted to be the best vet. You know, I think he's the future of the league. Like I told him, uh, he's the future. I'm the present motherfucker. Don't forget that shit, you know yeah. what I'm trying to say, but. It is very clear in the mind of Carl Anthony Towns that this is his team, not Anthony Edwards, and that Ant, despite the playoff numbers, is Cats number two. Now, the reason why this is so incredibly important right now is just how scary Carl Anthony's contract is for Anthony Edwards. If Ant is not getting a top tier second level star, well, Minnesota should probably look to make a move because between the years of 2025 and 2027, Carl Anthony Towns makes over 50 million dollars a year and then in 2028 luckily he has a player option for 60 mil minnesota cannot mess around they need to make the right decision here and fast and at least in theory with anthony edwards we have a young all-star guard and with carl anthony towns we have a 20 year old in his prime multiple time all-star big that is supposed to be the perfect combination but the thing is we have certainly seen kobe and shaq and we have also certainly seen james harden and dwight howard shaq is a beast he 
is one of one. I'm not comparing Cat to Shaq. Cat does that himself. To begin last year, he said he was one of the best offensive players in NBA history, which does seem a bit absurd to say when you average under 21 points per game this season, but I cannot knock a man for believing in himself. Although some would say this is beginning to border on delusion. Being completely fair though, when we look at Cat's young prime, we not only saw promise, but we saw historical promise. When the NBA held its annual GM survey of all 30 teams in the league, both to begin the 2017 and 2018 seasons, it was Carl Anthony Towns who was chosen as the number one player over everyone, over everyone. LeBron, KD, Giannis, to begin a franchise with if you were starting today. How is that possible? Well, Carl Anthony Towns averaged 25.1 points, 12.3 rebounds, and 2.7 assists per game on 54% shooting. While also connecting on 37% shooting from deep, he looked like he was about to become a monster. Only fast forward to last season at the age of 27 when you're supposed to be in your prime. And Cat averaged 20.8 points, 8.1 rebounds, and a nice 4.8 assists per game. But he shot less than 50% from the field as a big. To put this into perspective, this year Kristaps Porzingis averaged three points per game more than Cat and shot slightly better than him. So if we do see the promise of a young Cat again, again, absolutely here, then you would want to pay him 50 to 60 million. But this is also more than just the stats. Do we believe in Kat's toughness? I'll be honest, I thought both Jokic and Anthony Davis bullied Cat in the playoffs this year. To me, the physical comparison was not close. And if you are not willing to be that guy holding it down for your team at the center position, I am not believing in you. I don't think anyone should. Dwight Howard held it down as a vet on the Lakers, but he can say whatever he wants looking back. We all know Kobe knew the secret. Kobe yelled at Pau Gasol and called him soft after the 2008 finals. Kobe trucked Pau Gasol in the 2008 Olympics to show him something, what real toughness was. And Pow thanked Kobe, became tougher, and won two titles. Dwight still goes on podcasts explaining that he wasn't that soft. So how Cat responds to these tremendous ups and downs so far in his career will be very interesting and they will be very important because I do think that Anthony Edwards is the future of the NBA and the Timberwolves should not mess up what they have in any way. Please, Minnesota, bet it all on Anthony Edwards. Do whatever you can to let this man shine. He has the rarest trait in basketball. Ball. Anthony Edwards is next up. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you're new, please make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications. That way you never miss a video. If you're already subscribed, thank you so much for supporting. You're awesome. We all know it. And as always, have an awesome day and cue that music. If you're still here while the music is cued, here are two videos I think you are definitely going to enjoy. I mean, personally, I think the one on the left might be more your style, but the one on the right looks pretty awesome too. Click one, let me know what you think. And again, have an awesome day.